The barbell bench press is a very common chest exercise, but doing it correctly will make sure that you're activating the right muscle, the chest, and not the shoulders or something else. Um, obviously the triceps do come into play as well, but this, for the purpose of this video, we're going to look at it as in activating the chest. So to make sure we do that, we want to control a couple things. We want to control the weight, we want to control the tempo, and we want to control the muscles that we activate. So when we say we want to control the weight, we want to control the negative. We don't want to let just gravity, we're not resting as the bar moves down. No, we're actually pulling. We're using our opposite muscle, our back, shoulder blades, we're pinching them together, pulling that bar down to our chest, creating a great stretch. Then we're squeezing, using that stretch, we're initiating, and we're going to pull our elbows across because that's what the chest does. The chest musculature pulls the arm across. It doesn't push away. That's what the triceps do. So the setup for this, we'd like to, and again, we're not gonna go super heavy. If we're going super heavy, we're gonna bring our arms in. We're gonna have a nice little arrow instead of a T. Right, we're gonna be down here to give that shoulder a little bit more protection. But if we are trying to target the chest, we're not gonna use excessive weight. We're gonna use a weight we can control. We want our arms, our hand to be just outside the elbow because it's gonna put a little bit more tension on it as if, as opposed to being here. We want it to be, let's say you can probably see it better that way. We want it to be here, a little bit more tension than here. So our setup is gonna be a little bit wide. We're going to control the negative, pull our back really aggressively, pinch our shoulder blades, and then we're going to still think elbows across our body and we're going to aggr aggressively shove our back into the pad and that's how we will move the weight. So this is what it looks like. Again, nice and wide at the bottom position. We want to be hands outside, just outside of elbows. So that's the right position for me. And now I'm going to aggressively pull that bar to my chest. I'm not arching my back, keep my back flat, creating a good stretch. Now I'm squeezing my chest across, my elbows across. Again, pulling the bar down, pushing across aggressively pulling under control push you can even think about on the way down pulling the bar like pulling it apart and on the way up pushing it in together so that helps you so again you're pulling up your shoulder blades together aggressively pulling that inch that bar into your chest now, elbows across, activate that chest, up, control. So there's never a portion of that lift where you're not actively controlling the weight with your muscles. Even on the negative, you're controlling it. And you're gonna pause just a little bit at the top and at the bottom to give your brain time to assess your form and make the connections to the muscles. Make sure you're in the right um, places to activate the muscles to the best of their ability. So if you do that, you're gonna build a great chest, pack on tons of muscle, keep your joints safe, be pain-free, and build all the muscle in the world. <laughs>